One of the problems with believing in the rapture, when everyone just gets enraptured up to God and whatever, which isn't actually in the Bible and isn't going to happen, is that you miss out on rapture experiences. Hey, this is Uber Grace and it's going to be Uberlicious today. Hope you're going to enjoy it. A few years ago, I was in a, a kind of a prayer meeting. We were just worshipping. It was pretty intense. It was, it was in a good way. It was really good. Everyone was just full on in there, enjoying a really Holy Spirit flowing time, just going for it. And I was on my knees in the corner somewhere. And then I wasn't. It's really hard to explain because I don't want to over state it but at the same time I don't want to minimalize what happened but I'm pretty sure I went to heaven okay well, I'll tell you what happened you make your own mind up you think I'm nuts anyway so it doesn't matter anyway what happened was that I was suddenly in a field in a valley where the grass was the most lush grass everything about it was just so alive it wasn't loads of plants and flowers and animals it was just this amazing valley scene uh, there was no one there it was just beautiful what i remember specifically was the air because obviously light as we see light is just clear isn't it you don't really see light you see by light it's a whole message in that but we all know as well that light if you refract through a prism splits into loads of different colors and we see rainbows don't we uh, of a mixture of all those colors well that was kind of what i was seeing it was so crystal clear and beautiful that actually i could see all the colors of the rainbow the prism whatever at the same time as just seeing pure light it, it was really amazing really amazing and i was just enjoying this now was this a vision? Could have been. I've had loads of visions and loads of pictures and loads of prophecies and all that. I've, al I've always flowed in that kind of thing. But this was just different somehow because I was actually in it. I was actually in there. And next thing I know, I'm raising up and suddenly this dove is coming towards me. And then I'm this eagle. And I'm just flowing around and playing I mean, really, an eagle should go and grab a dove, shouldn't it? But actually, we were just soaring in the heights of this amazing atmosphere together. I've no idea for how long. It was probably two minutes, but it felt like ages. And we were just soaring together, the dove of the Holy Spirit, and me renewing my youth uh, as, as on eagle's wings, perhaps. It was just an incredible experience. And then as I was alighted back down onto the grassiness, suddenly the whole thing came into some massive kaleidoscope-like vortex, spinning right round into, into darkness. And that was more of a vision, almost. It was almost like I'd stepped out of it then, and I could see what was going on. And, and clearly, this was just an amazing experience for me. Just a few minutes, but it has really profoundly impacted me. Why am I telling you that? I'm not showing sure off. I can't make that happen. Nothing like that has remotely happened before or since. Is that powerful, you know? And that was probably about seven, eight, nine years ago now in, in the Yorkshire Wolds near here. What am I telling you that for? Well, really, it's because I'd been, I'd come across some people that were always having rapture experiences. This is a long time ago. I read about them. And I'm saying, Lord, I want to have this. Strangely, these people actually believe in the actual rapture, so they could manage both. But for me, I just wanted to, I know that when Jesus took the three disciples and they met, had the transfiguration and they met Elijah and Moses, that was Jesus' regular prayer time. He just included his mates on that one. I know that really we have the, we have the opportunity just to open our hearts and our minds and really interact with the divine. And on occasion, maybe even a rapture experience where we're just taken to another dimension and it's just amazing. Is that religious? Oh, it was just amazing. I don't know what it is. Was that spiritual? Definitely. It was Christ completely. But it was amazing. And I think don't miss out really on incredible experiences with God 
because you believe in certain carnal things or you believe in things in a certain way. God can open himself up to you at any time. More about that in the next one. I've gone over five minutes. Whoops. Anyway, have a great day. Hope that was a little bit funny and freaky. And uh, don't forget to share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.